You may know Henry as a hoover with a beautiful innocent face. A beautiful innocent face that can do no wrong. A kind innocent heart. A loving look in his eyes at every moment. Well, Henry may be famous for his vacuum capabilities and dashing good looks, but tragedy befell him in 2003 when he accidentally sucked up Croydon. This led to years of erratic behaviour, and for a long time Henry questioned everything about himself. Who was he? Why was he made this way? Did he really have to hoover things? He retreated from public life, always wearing sunglasses and refusing to suck for many years. Henry Hoover has long been a simple-minded fool like you and I, a chuckling sweet boy with no dreams beyond sucking dirt and racism from the zebra stripe rug you inexplicably keep in your bathroom even though you're not really a fan of zebra stripes and it makes the toilet look huge, like some kind of mega toilet. It haunts your dreams, the toilet, because it looks so big next to that rug. But after sucking up one too many stray pennies, and Croydon of course, Henry is now quite a rich man, and while he lacks an imagination and personality for the most part, the money has changed him, and now he dreams of all the things those endless clanging coins whirling around his insides can buy him, such as fame, fortune, and simulated musical ability. Henry may now call into question the fundamental questions of life. What, what, what does it mean? What is he supposed to be? What kind of dreams should he or could he have? Henry has a lot of dreams. Henry has a lot of dreams. In fact, every night he writhes in his bed, thinking of what the future could hold, or what fantasies could come true. But he has many anxieties, too. So you see after all this, that Henry Hoover, he's more than a vacuum cleaner. He's more than a cute little sweet little innocent boy. Creativity flourishes within him, and in a way that's unexpected. Maybe we can learn something from that. Maybe we owe more than we think to Henry. It's true that Henry was born with an innate passion for vacuuming carpets, like many of us today. But it's also true that passions change, and people change, and hoovers, well they change most of all, because they have plug-in accessories, and stuff.